<laughs> okay, guys, I'm here with Brandon Mort yes, from sir. 247 Motorsport, man. How you doing, Brandon? Good, man. Real good. Awesome, buddy. Hey, what can you tell me about the car? Um, so this is my baby. I uh, got the car brand new on the showroom floor when I was 19 years old oh. as an 03 Cobra. And uh, slowly over the years, it's just kind of progressed into what it was. You know, it had uh, a lot of different um, four valve blower nitrous combos. Then it was a mod motor turbo car for a long time. Um, and, you know, we didn't really race much. We used to do a lot of boating and stuff. And then uh, say in the last like five years, we got a lot more serious with the car and slowly it's become what it you is know, more into the small tire cars that you're seeing you know yeah what uh you said it's had different combos in it what, what are you running now um so about five years ago we changed from a mod motor to a small block ford oh, really? um and uh so it's a small block ford with uh twin cop turbos nice um the soma builds all my engines and um it's got a turbo 400 from uh, my buddy dave at performance and uh yeah it's um Pretty much all steel, all glass still, except for the doors. Um, we have the doors if we need to put them back on for certain classes, but. I get yeah. it, I get it. So you, it so you bought this uh, from the showroom floor and you know, what turned it into a race car eventually? Usually, you know, that doesn't losing. happen. Losing. Losing. Losing, yeah, losing is, uh, um, you know, it's rough. You know, it's like uh, when it was more of a street car, it had enough to go rounds, but it never had enough to take a, take a payday, so. Yeah. Um, we just had to change shit up and get with the times and a little more horsepower and everything else. Awesome, man. What, uh, what rear end you're running in? Um, so it's a, uh, Hammer B Concepts 9 inch, um, that was built for me. Um, so yeah, it's a 9 inch with the strange center section, uh, 40 spline gun drilled axles and all the good shit. So nice, nice, nice. Um, have you named the car anything? Uh, I don't really like the whole car name thing. However, because we tend to be a little bit of a wild fucking, you know, we're, we're known as the wild driver a little bit. So, um, a buddy of ours named it the crowd pleaser. Crowd pleaser. <laughs> yeah, that's good, man. That's good. Um, your YouTube channel, man, how did that start? You know, um, honestly, a lot of people started just messaging us saying like, you know, you guys need to start a YouTube channel. You need to start a YouTube channel. And I didn't really know what it was all about because I never grew up watching YouTube. Yeah. I, I still don't have time to really watch YouTube. Um, but I think Billy and uh, the old man that talked Ashley into starting it. Uh, nice. So probably last May we fired up a channel that Ash started doing and slowly he's been progressing and adding cameras and awesome, learning man. new stuff every day. and. Um, you know, it's not, the channel's not huge by any means yet, um, but the love that we have is real. Oh, yeah, that's what... And, um, you know, it seems like the people that we do have are real into the, the car yeah. and the family. And, you know, cause it's really, for the most part, just um, yeah, my wife, guys, yeah. my son and I that go everywhere together, you know? Yeah, that's pretty dope. You, you're actually, you know, bringing them in closer to you, who you guys are. Yeah. You know, as a, as a family, as a unit, as a, you know, racing team, so. Yeah, and like a lot of the young kids, you know, it's like they, are on video games and all that shit so yeah. you know i want the little guy to take over driving this thing nice eventually. what do you think that's gonna be um you know i hope they have them making laps this year um not in my car but i'm gonna buy yeah, him something course, that's yeah. a little rougher that i don't mind if he scrapes up um but if all goes well like we found a couple track owners that said they were cool with it so we might throw them in something towards the yeah. end of the season and let them start making some slow passes and just get used to it. That's good, man. Yep. Um, you guys are far away from home, man. How does it feel to be in Florida? Um, weather's amazing. Um, it's been, I mean, it's been awesome. You know, it's like this, for me, this kind of shit in February just doesn't, surreal yeah. kind of, you know? Yeah, and, it's hot. Uh, usually the car's not done this early in the season. Um, so we've never made the trip and like usually but like prior years, you know, like when we didn't have the car figured out because everything changed this year. Um, my buddy Jordan put a new uh, chassis in the car, so it wow. got 25.5. Um, yeah, so it, it's basically been like it's been overhauled a, completely. All, you know? all the way up until November, this car had just had a 10 point cage in it. Wow. So he 25.5'd it. So some say we're retarded for driving this far to yeah. shake so, down yeah. a new chassis, but. We know the combo well enough now that I, you know, I finally have faith in it. So. Yeah. How do you feel about the event today? 
Um, you know, there's a lot of, you look around, there's a lot of very capable shit, you know? Um, <laughs> like last week at Immokalee, um, you know, we had problems. You saw the car ran great testing. We had yeah. a fry and a holly. And uh, that was like, uh, I could pedal it and win. <laughs> Look with my eyes closed. Yeah. So it was a little disappointing that we couldn't, um, you know, compete in the race. But, uh, you know, the track's really nice. It's nicer than anything we yeah. really race on. Uh, so, I mean, I feel good. I, I know the car's gonna run good. It's just, if we put the right tune up in it to run, you know, faster than the next guy. Nice, man. Well, talking about Immokalee, now the guys are gonna hear you on this video. They're gonna be, they're That's gonna okay. be looking out for you, man. Yeah. Well, they're gonna have to find a lot of horsepower before they start looking out for me. Because <laughs> they, I would guess they were probably a half second off the pace. Wow. So you might, uh, you might get some call outs, man, next year, you know, around yeah. the same time. Yeah. You know, if it's worth your while, man, you know, let's make it happen. Yeah, absolutely. Well, brother, I appreciate you taking yeah. the time, showing us this badass hot rod, man. Absolutely. And uh, we wish you the best of luck. Yeah, hopefully we don't shit the bed too early. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. All righty.